What is going on guys? Today we are making a very delicious blueberry muffin top cookie recipe. So the best part of a muffin is the top. I, I was gonna say, I'm sure you guys screamed muffin top. So yeah, so I figured we would make a, a cookie slash muffin top recipe so you can just have the deliciousness of both mashed into one. Really, really easy recipe. We're gonna get started. We have half a cup of butter, room temperature in a bowl that we are going to hand mix together with one fourth cup of erythritol, 25 drops of liquid stevia. And if you're new to low carb baking, we like to make our dessert recipes with half stevia and half erythritol. So you're cutting back on all like maybe the digestive distress you might get from a lot of erythritol and also cutting through any bitter taste you get from stevia. So most of our recipes are gonna use both and we get both of them online on Amazon. They're gonna be the cheapest there and the easiest to find. We also have a blog post on low carb sweeteners if you wanna check out. That's very comprehensive and we'll break it all down for you. Then we're gonna add in some vanilla extract about a teaspoon and now we're gonna whisk it up until it's nice and smooth and creamy next we're gonna add in our eggs and let's whisk this before we add in our last wet ingredient and finally, we are going to add in the secret ingredient that is sour cream. We're gonna add half a cup and the sour cream is gonna keep it very moist and give you like that typical muffin top type of texture that we're looking for. Now let's give that one more whisk. And now onto our dry ingredients. We're gonna start with half a cup of coconut flour. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of flax seed meal. The recipe linked below is gonna call for golden flax meal because that, in our opinion, is tastier. It gives it a little toastier flavor, adds a nicer color, but we only had the traditional flax seed meal on hand, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. So whichever one you have will work. I just think golden flax meal has a little bit nicer of a taste. So we're gonna do two tablespoons. Lastly, we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of pink salt. And then we're gonna give this a nice mix before we fold in our blueberries. So this is the texture you're gonna look for. It's not runny at all. It's nice and can hold its shape almost. So now we're gonna fold in our blueberries. We're gonna do about a third of a cup. You can do more, you can do less. These are nice and big too, so that'll be, very delicious. I'm just gonna eyeball it. That looks good, that's a nice hearty serving. So we're gonna fold those in. And if they break, that's totally okay. So we have our oven preheated to 350 degrees and we have a muffin tin here that we're gonna be using. So we're not gonna fill these all the way up because we don't want muffins, we just want the muffin tops. So let's grease these. So we're making muffin bottoms? We're making the bottoms that are gonna taste like the tops. They do sell muffin top molds, but unless you have that on hand, that's fantastic. Most people don't. So it's more realistic to just use an um, actual muffin tin. So for each, we're gonna about do about a heaping scoop of dough. So it won't be a lot, but it'll be just enough. So that looks good. That's heaping right there to me. Okay, so we have 12 filled up here, but we have some dough left over. So this will probably make about 14 muffin tops. So we're gonna leave it as is. We're not gonna like press them out or anything. And we're gonna pop them in the oven 15 to 18 minutes. I'm gonna check on them about 15 minutes cause our oven runs a little hot and then we will be back for the taste test. All right guys, we are back. These were in the oven for about 17 minutes and then we allowed them to cool for about 10 minutes and they look exactly like muffin tops. I cannot believe it. I don't think there's much more to say. We should get to taste testing. So I'm gonna pop a couple of these out for you. Oh my God, look. Look how perfect, cute little muffin tops. Oh, and they're so moist. So you definitely do wanna let these cool cause they probably would fall apart if you just pulled them out right away. Yay, look how cute these are. I'm gonna open it up. Ooh, look, it's one of those bursted blueberries. Oh, so soft and tender. Mm. Mmm, like a muffin top pillow. These are phenomenal. I think this is, I keep saying this is my favorite, this is my favorite, but this is my favorite. They're not overly sweet. 
They're very moist, not dense, but like pillowy. They like melt in your mouth and the blueberry is just perfect. Any berry would go great. Any nuts would go great. Seasonings would go great. Cinnamon, mm, you can do a pumpkin spice one for like the fall time. So these are coconut flour muffin tops. So for all of you people who are like, I have a nut allergy, I can't eat almonds. Mega, why don't you do more coconut flour recipes? We got you covered. Linked below in the description is the recipe on how to make them step by step. And please tag us on Instagram if you make these because these are so good. You're not gonna wanna miss out. Thanks for joining us.